Good day. Welcome to Lawyer Up by NDV Law. This is Attorney Nikki De Vega, managing partner of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. Boilerplate provisions refer to template provisions or one-size-fits-all clauses usually found in the end of most contracts. Because they are so common, these provisions are often taken for granted, especially by lawyers. To the perceptive eye, however, boilerplate provisions should be considered as gems in the contract because they complete not only the aesthetic value of the contract, but more importantly, the legal dimension and efficacy of a contract. So let's start with one boilerplate provision. Typical boilerplate provisions are clauses on force majeure, assignments, governing laws, arbitrations, and the like. They should be incorporated in your contract sparingly and with the caveat that it is always best to consult a legal professional for advice. So let's talk about force majeure. The force majeure clause essentially means that if any uncontrollable circumstances causes a party to violate or breach the contract, such violation shall not be considered as breach of contract. So I guess this finds application now during the pandemic, huh? So now let's go to the representations and warranties. It goes something like the parties acknowledge that this agreement expresses their entire understanding and the agreement and that there have been no warranties, representations, etc., etc. This clause provides that any promise or agreement not contained in the contract are deemed to have been disregarded and only those contained in the contract are considered as binding. Okay, on the topic now of separability clause. So let's go to that clause. This clause states that if a portion of the agreement is void, only such portion is invalid and not the entire contract. This is actually a surplusage in the, in the Philippines because the rule on separability of provisions actually do apply with or without the boilerplate. However, it is inserted in most contracts as a matter of custom or perhaps just to be sure. So now let's go to counterparts. This is especially helpful where both parties come from different countries. So the contracting parties no longer need to be at one place to sign the contract because through this clause, a signature of one party in a signed fax copy is also deemed an original and both the fax and original copies are constituted as the same document. Moving on to warranties. Well, this clause goes something like this. If either party is a corporation, each person warrants that such party is duly formed or that each person is duly authorized to execute, acknowledge, and deliver the agreement to the other party. So make sure you have this clause, especially when you're dealing with corporations. This will give an additional measure of protection that the other party you are signing or dealing with is actually an authorized signatory. So you have to be careful. Sometimes you're talking to someone who's not even an officer, who's not authorized to do the act for the corporation. So let's discuss the venue and governing law. The governing law clause is essential only where the contract will involve parties from various countries. The venue clause, however, is important because it determines where a suit arising from the contract will be filed. Well, it is suggested that the venue clause be designated to the place of the office, well, of your lawyer, as proximity to the venue of the case always, well, most of the time, lessens legal costs and expenses. So finally, let's talk about transferability. Since some contracts involve personal obligations which cannot be performed by another person, the existence of a transferability clause in a contract allows successors and those who step in the shoes 
of the other party to carry out the contractual obligations. There you go. Those are boilerplate provisions for you in a nutshell. Well, if this video has been helpful, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also visit our website, ndvlaw.com, to learn more about legal matters in the Philippines. Again, this is attorney Nikki De Vega, managing partner of Nicolas and De Vega Law Offices. And thank you for watching. Lawyer Up by NDV Law.